Well, should coronavirus force the closure of schools, one North Texas district is working on a plan to keep students learning. Jen is live at Fort Worth ISD headquarters where district leaders are pulling from their own experience during another outbreak. Jen. Well, Russ, first, it's worth reiterating that school leaders have no idea how big of a problem coronavirus may become, but they're trying to prepare, meeting several times this week to take a look at how to continue with school, even if that means students would learn from home. In 2009, the H1N1 pandemic forced Fort Worth ISD to close for four days. During that time, some district teachers got together and created what they called SOFA studies, teleclasses, just in an attempt to keep students engaged. Eleven years later, as the risk of coronavirus looms, the district is trying to move beyond that, looking at ways to continue instruction in the event they have to close down. Technology is on their side. We still have uh, the technical capability, and now we have more technology that we didn't have back in 2009. All of our secondary schools, the students have uh, laptop computers, um, and those students who don't live where there's Wi-Fi in their neighborhood or Wi-Fi in their house, we have provided hotspots for those. So the communication element is there, what that curriculum should look like, what kind of subjects to teach, what is what district leaders are discussing now. Fort Worth ISD is also in contact with the Tarrant County Health Department, watching what the CDC says and training nurses on what to look for with spring break travel plans coming up. And for parents who are worried, who want to know what more they can do to protect their own students um, ahead of this potential problem, uh, Fort Worth ISD says, take a look at their website later today. You're going to find an updated letter from the superintendent with some of those general precautions that people can take. Live in Fort Worth, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.